And I said, if you're going to leave, you shouldn't have gone in, but they shouldn't have. They should have left soldiers behind, like 20,000 or a certain number of soldiers. But if you're going to leave, take the oil. And I've said it. Then they left. They didn't take the oil. So ISIS got the oil. Iran is getting the oil. Everybody's getting everything but us. So we lost thousands of soldiers. We spent two trillion dollars in Iraq. We have wounded warriors who I love all over the place. And what do we get out of it, Alex? We had nothing. We had nothing. So no, the French and the Germans are getting the oil and the Iranians are getting the oil. And you know who the number one customer for the oil is? Guess what? China. That's I mean, right. How smart is China? They outsmart us on every level militarily. They outsmart us on trade. Like, we're losing. We have a $450 billion trade deficit with China. Let me ask trade. you this. You're a top business guy, you know, on your own from nothing. How did China get 97% of rare earth in, uh, uh, minerals in the world? How is the United States or nobody else even trying to get rare earth minerals? How did we just give them the global market in that? That's crazy. Well, what a lot of people don't know, Afghanistan. Now, Afghanistan's a place we can go in because, you know, you have Pakistan and you have nuclear weapons, a lot of things going on there. But we, we go into Afghanistan. We're fighting, you know, tremendous mountains and ridges. We're fighting on one side. And you know who's got their excavators on the other China. side? China. China. taking out all the minerals. You know, Afghanistan, nobody knew this. Afghanistan is rich with minerals, not oil, but minerals. They Lithium, have everything. And China is taking out all the minerals. And here we are fighting. We have trillions. We have like a trillion dollars in Afghanistan, and we get nothing out of it. And we're going to end up leaving and keeping a couple of thousand soldiers there and this and that. We get nothing. China is taking out the minerals. They're the, they're the buyers, the big buyers, at very, very low prices of, as you know, of the oil in Iraq and probably in Syria. But China is a big buyer of the oil. But one thing with the oil, it's because sort of, you've covered it. For three years, I've been saying hit the oil because ISIS is getting strong and they're no JV, as the president said, and they're certainly not contained. But I said hit the oil and hit them hard. And they laughed at me. And they would put generals on television saying, no, that strategy wouldn't work. Well, after Paris, they started hitting the oil. And it does work. The problem is we've given them a two-year edge. They have billions of dollars. The now. Russians started hitting the oil for one month and ISIS is already rolling over. So Putin oh, is following your, your strategy. <laughs>
and it builds muscles. It's a big dose in there. The second big main ingredient in there is a volcanic zeolite concentrate. And this, what this formula is designed to do, the shilajit and the zeolites have a real strong negative charge. All the metals and chemicals and PCBs and VOCs have positive charges. So these go in, they grab it, and then they safely eliminate it through the body so you can become healthy. I mean, the, this is an amazing formula. I wish I actually had it, but because this was an exclusive InfoWars Life product, you're the only one in the world that has this formula now. And, uh, you know, there is going to be a limited supply available when you sell out because you can only harvest this once a year. How do people take it? How is it recommended that this be done? Just a daily, daily dose? Yeah, daily dose. Uh, the instructions are on the label. You know, of course, I, I kind of modify it for each individual. It depends on what your lifestyle is. I mean, the, honestly, the best thing to do is for you to avoid all these chemicals and toxins in your environment and try to identify them and start slowly reducing them. But personally, I, I'm going to probably take it every day, every other day, and I'll probably go with about a dropper full to maybe two dropper fulls. Uh, and I and I, li I don't expose myself to any chemicals. InfoWarsLife.com. Please also support our local AM and FM affiliates, support their local sponsors, or become a sponsor and spread the word. Because these aren't just great products. This is how we fund this independent operation. We're not taxpayer funded like MSNBC or NPR, and neither is your local station. So support them, folks. This is a war. <laughs> Monday through Friday, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central. We're here live. Mike Norris, accomplished filmmaker. Here it is. It's coming up. Documentary filmmaker, TV maker, actor. There's the guitar right there. And, of course, the firstborn son of Chuck Norris. Thank Doesn't you. get any better than that. And we are very flattered. Chuck Norris, of course, has been on the show a few times. I know he is a listener. Uh, and, of course, a nice photo you sent us of you down there at the ranch with him with the Infowars.com shirt. Before we get into Amerigeddon, premiere this uh, trailer, talk about all the censorship and things that it has uh, you know, basically gone through. What about the idea of drafting Chuck Norris 2016? I think he would be even way more invincible and measured in what he said uh, than somebody like even Donald Trump. And I like Donald Trump. He's been on. He obviously is the big Republican leader. Or what about a Chuck Norris, Donald Trump ticket? I mean, I know your dad is known for being uh, super incredibly humble. Whenever I've seen him at Republican events over time, he doesn't like people really complimenting him. But, I mean, come on. We need somebody who's been a filmmaker, an entrepreneur, you know, world champion, uh, you know, in karate, uh, in, in his own right from Texas or from Oklahoma, you know, who's been in the military the whole nine yards versus these lawyers. And Ted Cruz is a lawyer. I like him. But I like Rand Paul because he's an optometrist or whatever. Uh, you know, Trump, he's a self-made billionaire. I really am just sick of these inside the beltway people that are smoking their own dope. But but Mike Norris, before we get into America and uh, all things Chuck Norris, you always tell me some cool stuff behind the scenes baseball, and we're going to work to get your dad on soon. But he's really kind of been chilling out, writing for World Net Daily, and he deserves that. Uh, but Wow. I mean, America needs Chuck Norris. How great would that be to have my dad as the president of the United States? I mean, it's been great to uh, kind of witness his uh, evolution into the film industry. But, wow, president would be great. I, I, I'm in. I'd love to go to the White House to see him there. How long was he the top grossing action figure ever? I mean, wasn't like a decade he was the top grossing of all time? Yeah, every four months he'd have a new film come out, number one in the box office, and... Uh, it was great. That was, you know, the 80s and 90s. And then he started on Walker, Texas Ranger, and that just kind of took it to a whole nother level. You know, they can say they can have Chimera clones now. We could get dig up John Wayne, and then your dad could donate some stem cells. We could create a John Wayne, Chuck Norris uh, creature. I, I, I'm in. Let's throw a little Alex Jones in there, too. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we'll, we'll throw Donald Trump's hair in genetically. <laughs> the creature will have Donald Trump's hair. I like his hair. What's wrong with it? I hear you. We'll mix in. We'll mix in some uh, Elvis. Ooh. We'll dig up George Washington, mix in some of that. Little Ronald Reagan? Sure. We won't be mixing any Schwarzenegger in. Or Clinton. Or Clinton. Ooh, no. Uh, Hillary, though, so beautiful. Sorry. Uh, just spit up a little bit. <laughs> but no, I mean, could your dad be convinced? I mean, I know people brought it up to him. What would his reservations be? I mean, if any, to running for president? You know, uh... I, I think the idea of it is really cool. 
But, you know, he's uh, he's so much into his foundation, his Kickstart Foundation. Helping kids. Uh, helping kids. Um, he's starting a new water company, Seaforce Water. So he, he's busy right now. Uh, but he's very in tune with what's happening in the world. He's very in tune with uh, the media, knowing full well the media is, the mainstream media is a lie. And I think that's uh, that's important because we need people like you and my father to let people know Fox, CNN, ABC, NBC, it's all a lie. And if you really want to get news, the, where do we go? We go to Alex, we go to Drudge, we, we go to Breitbart. That, that's where we got to go now to get our information. So, Is it surprising to you that it came out, FBI agents and others have said they were blocked from investigating this couple and that mosque and actually had the Civil Rights Commission from the White House sent down to stop them? I, I, ridiculous. And then now it came out confirmed that the White House ordered the FBI to say this wasn't terrorism. Uh, yeah, I, I watched it uh, kind of unfold. Uh, it, 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 interestingly enough, the day Donald was on your show, I'm fixated on watching Donald Trump on your show. And then two hours later, this, this thing happens. I'm watching it unfold, and slowly but surely, I'd watch Fox, I'd watch CNN, but everything from Fox, they'd, they'd say his name uh, was a Muslim name. And then two hours later, CNN would have to, uh, they were Muslims. It, it was pathetic. But it wasn't terror. No, no, oh gosh, no, it wasn't terror. Not not at all. So. I mean, vest, bombs, going to Pakistan, and it turns out the government knew, ordered the FBI to stand down. That's uh, uh, To me, how about them letting the media in the apartment one, two days later? Cameras inside the apartment? That's a crime. The thing. bed hadn't even been turned. No. The walls hadn't been torn out. Normally, in a real attack like this, if they didn't want to get rid of the crime scene, they would... It'd be closed for months. Yeah, ab absolutely, absolutely, and that's why I need Gary here for this. I mean, this now. Let's talk about. Let's Gary's talk about the guy house. that. Yeah, absolutely. Let's get into the film. Let's talk about America. Again, we're going to be playing the trailer coming up at the bottom of the hour. The trailer's now at Infowars.com, uh, and, and, and let's talk about people like Gary taking action to make this film. You know, uh, Gary and Di Diane Haven to me are amazing people. Here's a guy that has created a successful company, a successful business, has all the money in the world, could do whatever he wants. And what he has decided to do is he's going to stand up, he's going to put his money up, and he's going to create content, create films that is to expose the elites of the world. This is just the beginning. You're, you're ready to announce this. This is it. All right, well, go ahead and tell folks about it. We're, we're launching the Facebook for the first time, the website, the trailer. Uh, Amerageddon, the movie.com, links at infowars.com, Facebook, Twitter. Will this film save the world by itself? No. Will this show do it by itself? No. Will Mike Norris by himself? No. Or Chuck Norris at World Net Daily? No. But all of us together, standing up to the New World Order, standing up to what's happening, the truth will expose what they're doing. And so it's very important that you make this film a hit. It's very entertaining, but very informative. It's very important that when it comes out in theaters, you see it. When it's on demand, you watch it. Uh, that when it then hits DVD, Blu-ray, you get it, because we're building on alternative media, and when you come, that's actually what helps us build it bigger. It's kind of like Field of Dreams. Build it, they will come. Build something, they will come. But then we, you start supporting, it gets bigger and bigger. And that's what the system is afraid of. We got those documents from the Clinton Foundation 20 years ago saying we got to shut down this Internet. What happens if Christians and libertarians and conservatives use it? That'll be it for us. So the talking point was, call them conspiracy theorists. Call them racist. Sick the IRS on them. And 20 years later, what do we see them doing? Exactly that. Exactly that. Getting back to the film, uh, your dad warns you too, didn't he? Uh, yeah, he did. And he warned me again after he saw the film. He goes, uh, just so you know, you are now on the list. Like, what list? <laughs> the hit list. And you know what? I wear that badge with honor. Because uh, if I'm doing something... And he was saying that good, I mean, I mean, a good way to you. In a good way. Uh, hey, I don't want to die for this movie. Uh, and I'm not putting words in your mouth. He told me at the time, he said he was proud of you. Absolutely. Absolutely. He loved the movie. Uh, we have his full support on the film. So um, that's a huge blessing to us. Um, but it, it, today is a big day. I mean, this is a movie we've been working on for a year and a half. Uh, it's a concept of Gary Havens, who I wish he could be here right now, but he is uh, taking care of business somewhere in the world. I don't know. I'll find out next week when I see him. Um, but this was his brain. He's like a James Bond character himself. He really is. He is so fascinating, 
so knowledgeable. And, and I, you know, it's kind of like talking to you. You just kind of get sucked in. And oh, you're too nice. No, no, but he's he, more interesting than I am. He, and he's so knowledgeable and he's so passionate. And like 